Royal Ta was a, a side wheel steamer, and she was carrying a, a, a circus, a whole circus outfit with the animals, uh, lions, elephants, all these different things. She was also carrying a small fortune in uh, specie, which gold and silver coin. And uh, she was uh, up off a of Vinyl Haven area. Four days later, the ship reached Penobscot Bay off the coast of Maine. Now, um, they sailed right into a giant storm, so they took port at um, Fox Island. And she was at anchor, and there was a, a severe storm one night, and she broke free from the anchorage and caught a fire at the same time because they had boilers going to keep warm because it was so cold out. Well, the ship caught fire, and it was in a blizzard, and it was adrift. There were two lifeboats on deck, which was not enough to save every single passenger, but it would have kept a lot of people alive. Uh, unfortunately, a couple crew members and a group of men, probably about 15 or 16 men, uh, took one of the lifeboats and basically every man for themselves. Um, they were supposed to be loading up women and children first into these lifeboats, but that group took off and they all made it to the nearby Fox Island, but they left everyone else behind, about 70 people, 75 people for one lifeboat and um, Captain Reed managed to get a number of women, children, and a few men into the remaining lifeboat and had them floating by the wreckage. Now, the animals were freed around this time, so this was a scene of complete chaos. While the ship's on fire, people are jumping out of the fire into the freezing cold ocean. Animals are jumping on top of them into the ocean. It's just a really tragic scene. The U.S. Vito, which was a U.S. Coast Guard vessel, came by about 45 minutes later, rescued those people who were on the lifeboat and a few of the others who had been clinging to wreckage. Now, none of the animals survived except for two horses who made it to the island um, by swimming, and um, probably about 40 people perished that night. Well, years later, uh, one of the tusks, an ivory tusk washed ashore up on one of the little islands up there. Someone found it, which gave us an idea of where it could be because, uh, you know, it's not like tusks are buoyant and they float around. So it had to be somewhere where the surf moved it around and it eventually ended up on shore somewhere. So uh, knowing that there was a lot of history behind it, as well as a specie on board that's worth, you know, a fortune, uh, we went up and did a little survey around there, but uh, we never did find where it went down. But it would be an interesting one to locate because, uh, you know, just the history around it. Uh, you know, the circus probably had a, a bunch of unique items on the, on the vessel, the specie, and to find out where she finally settled, uh, that would be kind of an interesting one to uh, go poking around on. And it's right here in the state of Maine. For full episodes and more extra footage, please visit www.shipwrecks.net.